Hello everyone, this is João from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the stomach in situ. So what we're going to be doing here on this tutorial is mainly exploring this image that you see now on the screen, which shows the anterior view of the abdomen. If we were to then cut all the muscles of the anterior wall, so the interior trunk wall muscles are all removed here, and a few other structures to then expose the stomach here, you can see that we're just moving back the liver so we can then show a bit more or expose the stomach. You can also see here a bit of the colon or the large intestine, the gallbladder, and a few other structures that we're going to be talking about here. So we're going to look at all these structures that are found nearby the stomach. As you probably know, the stomach is uh, the most dilated part of the gastrointestinal tract and takes on a short J shape. You can also see a bit of the stomach here on uh, this image, highlighted in green. Now the stomach is positioned between uh, the esophagus, which you see here on this image, and also the small intestine. The stomach is found in the epigastric umbilical and left hypochondriac regions of the abdomen. Now it can be subdivided into four parts, the cardiac part, the fundus, the gastric body, and also the pyloric part, which we will be looking at on the next slides. In this tutorial, we will not be going into great detail about histology of the stomach mucosa. However, I would like to mention that though there are four divisions of the stomach, only three are histological distinct. I would like to also give you a quick overview of the types of glands that are found on the lamina propria of the stomach, and they are First, the alkaline mucus producing mucus next cells. Now this alkaline mucus protects the epithelium from self-digestion through gastric juices. Hydrogen and chloride ion secreting parietal cells. The hydrogen and chloride ions bond to then form hydrogen chloride or HCl that keeps the pH level of the stomach around 1 to 1.5. Pepsinogen and gastric lipase secreting chief cells. Pepsinogen, the inactive precursor of pepsin enzyme. There are also enteroendocrine cells. These cells secrete the hormones histamine, serotonin, cholecystokinin, somatostatin, gastrin, and endorphins. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.